right, so we will be getting to uh, those top stories in a short while. But for now, though, we wanted to take you to KICC, where Vihiga Governor Moses Akaranga is among politicians expected to appear before the IEBC Code of Conduct Committee to answer questions over alleged breach of the Electoral Code of Conduct. The Wafula Chebukati led committee will be hearing 18 cases involving, among others, like Ipe Governor Josh Irungu and competitors J.M. Matenge and Rito Mirithi. Others expected to appear is Igembe North aspirant Mao Kamare. So let's just cross over there and listen in to some of the proceedings, then we continue with our show. It is not a party, as the campaign is, is stating. It is not a party, it is a symbol, it is symbolizing the strong brain for change. Um, with the issue concerning colors, no one has ex exclusive rights to colors. Mr. Dennis Reed of colors, red and yellow, should not be viewed as the reason. Red and yellow are used a lot together. Um, I managed to download some of the colors that do you. The information for what a logo is red and yellow, the McDonald's, the DHL. So saying that red and yellow color is deceiving, um, I think that's been ignorant because it has been used before. Jubilee is not the originator of using both red and yellow together. Um, Mr. Dennis chose red to symbolize strong desire and yellow symbolizing new hope. The two meaning go in line with his motto, Okwanta, a strong desire to give people new hope. Um, the portrait on the posters they bear the name of the President of the Republic of Kenya. Jubilee Party is using portraits of both the President and his deputy because they are both keywords, they are both the faces of the Jubilee Party. All Jubilee Party aspirants have both of their portraits in their posters and this is what distinguishes them from the, from the rest. And with Sudan is being an independent party, he can choose to support whoever he wishes to support. So, the use of President's portrait should not be viewed as deceiving or misleading any voter. Any staunch supporter of the Jubilee Party should know and be aware that both the President and his deputy portraits are used together. Another complaint of trying to trick or and or deceive the voters that he belongs to the Jubilee Party, that claim is just absurd because it would not it would not it will not work to his advantage when it comes to voting. Because most voters look for the logo, for the symbol, and his is the hammer. So if he says that he's a Jubilee Party, it will work to his disadvantage. Because the symbol does not stand next to his name. Uh, another complaint, um, this is because the party logo is a hammer vehicle, when Jubilee is the Tupamoja sign. Those are distinct symbols, and no one should be to claim that they are being deceived by it. So the combination of the symbol, portrait, and colors in the portrait are very distinct from Jubilee aspirants. His symbol is of a hammer. That of Jubilee is the Tupamoja sign. The portrait chosen in a poster belongs to the president alone, while for Jubilee Aspirant belongs to both the president and his deputy, since both are the faces of the party. Colors in Jubilee Aspirant posters, no, they do not have a distinctive flow. If they had a flow like red comes first, yellow comes second, that would somehow be... They, they would say that it, it, it is being disguised or something, but no one has a... It doesn't have a distinctive flow. They're using red and yellow anyhow. So no one should say that they, any Jubilee aspirant should not say that they are being confused because they don't look for the colors because they don't flow in a certain way. Mm. They consider the symbol and the portrait. That is the motto and the face of the party. The complaint of Idris Badoni is therefore out of malice and inspired by the misconception that choose of red and yellow colors is exclusively Jubilee. That is not true. The use of the president portrayed is another misconception. The president is the face of the country and not just the Jubilee Party. Hence, it should be considered as deception. Furthermore, the complainant is a key member of, my, of the opponent's campaign team. Thus, the complaint is biased and not genuine. They are made with the aim of locking Mr. Dennis out of the race. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, I believe uh, you under replied there. Yeah? So yeah, no I just, just yeah. refer to what the elections uh, act, that's all. All right, thank you. Judgment on 20th uh, July at 2 p.m. Mr. Village, thank you. The next matter. Uh, Comprehend number 26 of 2017, 
Brother Muhammad Ombo versus Monica Raveni Marumbo. Gracias.